Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. I am joined today on the summit by Patrick Daberko, the fifth year head coach at Concordia. The Bulldogs picked fifth, by the way, in the GPAC preseason coaches poll. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Coach, it's nice to get to see you again. Nice to get to talk about some football. When we last talked, we were talking football in the fall, which I was really excited about. The GPAC, I think, did a great job in, in getting the entirety of the schedule in last fall. You know, there were schools who had fall schedules and spring schedules. And in light of that, you know, you really could say it was a tale of two seasons for, for some of the programs that were out there. Your program had all its games in the fall, and it really was still a tale of two seasons. You started off the season 4-0, and yep. then dropped the final four games of the season. So four and four overall. Coach, talk about the season. There really were ups and downs. Yeah, there, there were some ups and downs, and I appreciate you having me on, Joey. Uh, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Um, we we started out hot, and um, and we just didn't finish hot. You know, like it, it was uh, it was something where we, we felt like we had some good momentum going. Uh, we were the NAI game of the week up there at Northwestern, and, and we gave them a good run. I uh, had the ball um, down in the red zone late in the game, uh, down by less than a touchdown and couldn't close the deal. So um, if, if you don't capitalize on opportunities like that, then you don't deserve to win. And um, and then, then we, we played some really good teams. There's a lot of good teams in this conference. And, um, you know, we make no excuses. we got to play better um, down the stretch of the season. And we feel like we have the leadership in place in the locker room to, to do that this year. And, and we're excited about uh, this team. Coach, you talked about Northwestern, and it was the uh, the Red Raiders were the NAI national runners up. You also had another team in the Final Four, a perennial uh, favorite, I would think, in the conference always in Morningside there in the GPAC. And in mentioning those two teams, three teams in the conference ranked in the preseason poll. When I say that though, the Bulldogs had five on the first team in the all GPAC honors this past season. So, I mean, as, as tough a conference as this is, you've had players that are getting some, some league recognition. Yeah, I think, I think that speaks to the work that they've been putting in, in the off season and the weight room and they're, they're coachable young men uh, who are hard workers. And, uh, you know, I was happy to see that recognition for them. I'm, I'm really excited about uh, uh, them all coming back too this year. You know, and I want to clarify that too. That uh, that that's important to see all those names and and seven then on the all GPAC team uh, combined. So I want to make sure that everybody got the proper recognition on that. Uh, that Jonah Wayan leading the way on on the offensive side of the ball for you. When we talked, he had a game last season with five rushing touchdowns. He was third in the GPAC in rushing yards per contest through your season and one of a number of of offensive returners. Yeah, and it, everything follows our offensive line, you know, and so uh, we're, we're really big, and Jonah would be the first one to tell you, you know, um, it, it all all that credit is due to those five guys up front, and, and um, you know, so, so we're excited about uh, Jonah coming back, and he's worked really hard, and and, um, and so is the, have the guys who are blocking for him, and so we're really excited about that group up front, and, and toting the rock, I think you got to run the ball well to win, and um, and so we're, we're excited to see uh, his his progression going into 2021. Here on Midwest Sports Net, and I encourage you please to subscribe. We cover small college sports and more here throughout the Midwest and beyond as we're speaking with Coach Patrick Daverko <laughs> from Concordia. And Coach, I, I, I talk about the offense. Obviously, your defense uh, had uh, strong moments over the course of the season, too. Uh, it's a tough league where offense really is king in the GPAC. I mean, people are constantly talking about the offensive numbers from, from teams up and down the league. Your defense led by Lane Napier. He got a lot of uh, recognition throughout the course of the season, rightfully so. Fourth in the league. Uh, returning in uh, tackles per game, had nine tackles per contest for you, and one of the leaders on your defensive unit. Yeah, and, and Lane Lane sat out. Um, I think uh, three or four games last year due to due to some uh, nicks and knacks and injuries, and uh, played through probably in, in three or four other games uh, some <laughs> things that other people might sit out with. But um, hey, Lane's a phenomenal football player. He's got a great uh, head of, head for the game and a great uh, just great instincts. I wish. Uh, you know, we have some Lane Napier rules, you know, in film, like he, he does some things that, you know, as a coach, you go, you know, don't do that good job at all in the same breath. Yeah. Um, but, but Lane, Lane has a great <laughs> nose for the football and um, is a hard nosed player, uh, plays physical, is a sure tackler. And, um, and he, he's surrounded by a group of other men who are, um, 
who, who could be described the same way. You know, we have a group of uh, fifth year senior inside linebackers. Uh, we've never had this kind of depth and, and they're hardworking kids and uh, they, they all chose to come back. And so we're really excited about uh, having them back again. Coach, it, unless you like a front-loaded schedule, and maybe you do, I, I I don't know where you stand on all of that, but unless you you like a front-loaded schedule, I, I don't think the the schedule makers in the GPAC did you all any favors at all. You know, I mentioned three teams in in the league and in in Dort and Northwestern and Morningside ranked coming into the preseason. Those are three of your first four games. You open the season at Morningside, and then your first home game is against Briarcliff the next weekend. That's September 11th, by the way, for the folks who want to come out and watch you all play there in Seward. Coach, talk about your schedule. Yeah, our our schedule is uh, we're gonna play we're gonna play our ten game schedule and you know the order is the order and we don't really care about <laughs> that. You know, we're gonna take things one week at a time and um, you know we. It, We've said it before. You can't really have a week off in this conference. And one thing that we don't do here that we talk uh, to our players about is uh, do any forecasting of schedules. You know, the, the second you start to go down your schedule and go, OK, well, I think, you know, it, it, we can beat this team. This team's going to be a challenge. Then I think you end up getting yourself in trouble mentally um, because you're going to go into a game expecting to win or expecting to lose um, before having played it. And that's just not how things work. And so we're going to take things one one day at a time. And that, that's, that sounds like coach talk, but that's just what we're trying to do. And so um, uh, we'll, we'll see where we're at with the dust settles, but we're not scared of anybody. Well, if it is coach talk, talk then you're licensed to do so, I think, right? Uh, isn't isn't that <laughs> sure. okay? Yeah. That is all right. Well, okay, then we know this. We know you're going to be playing on the road September 4th, and you're playing at home September 11th, and the fans should come out and watch, correct? Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> the Concordia Bulldogs picked, according to the preseason coaches poll, fifth in the GPAC this season. Coach Patrick Daverko, thank you so much for taking some time with us today and success to you and to the Bulldogs this season. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate you having me on. Go dogs.